Hey guys, welcome to the beautiful Anakiwa. Today we've teamed up with Destination Marlborough and Sea Kayak Adventures to take you out in the sounds. So come on. Nat's diary. Nat's diary number one. So I timed my, our trip wrong. Had said that we dropped the dog off at Picton at eight to get here by 8.30. But we didn't leave Blenheim until 10 to eight, five to eight. How long does it usually take to get from Blenheim to Anakiwa? Uh, an hour. <laughs> And what time did we make it in? We got here in 40 minutes. <laughs> Might have gone a little bit fast, I'm sorry. I feel really sick now, I feel terrible. <laughs> and you see a hippopotamus, if you go to hug the hippopotamus, you will go upside down. What are the chances of, of falling in? 1% chance. If you can't find your tag, knees up. If you do go upside down, stay calm, hold on to your kite. I'll be in that one, I'll be paddling over, guarantee I'll be laughing at you. <laughs> That's right, I'll be laughing at, at These two will be too. laughing as well. Yep. Well, no, we won't be. <laughs> I can turn around and bite you on the bum. <laughs> The so at the moment it's a beautiful gorgeous morning out here in Marlborough Sounds. We're at Anakiwa at the moment and we've just stopped off across the way at Aussie Bay. It's a very popular spot pre-COVID times and at the moment we're learning a heap of interesting facts from Cam, our tour guide over there. And we've also got another couple here with us over there and Natalie how are you finding it? Yeah good, if I stop yelling at you. We were told that these kayaks actually have a nickname which is the divorce boat. I can see why. Was it wise to go on these three weeks before we get married? Matt, you're aiming us the wrong direction. Oh, oh. Matt. Only the end of this video will tell. narrowly missed a collision there. My handy skills of videography and paddling with my feet at the same time. These kayaks actually have little paddles down the bottom so they turn this rudder at the back here. So if I want to go right, turn with my right foot. If I want to go left, push down with my left foot. Cool. Fairly simple, highly scientific. At the moment we're just paddling through Momorangi Bay. <laughs> yes. No, <laughs> oh, we just had something splashing up here at the speed sign boy. Looks like we've scared away. It might have been a ill tempered sea bass. We stopped off at Nakuda Bay for a little bit and now we're going to head out to Governor's Hole to kayak through the hole. So that was just us going through Governor's Hole, which I don't think there's the official name, but I think, that Cam, that's your name for that hole there, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think that'll end up on Google Maps or? Should yeah. 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 We'll, we'll try and get it put on there. Aptly called because it leads out into Governor's Bay, is that right? point we're just crossed from over there where Governor's Bay was and we're crossing over to the other side which is over here <laughs> and we've got to watch out for the, all the traffic here as well as you can see there's boats crossing and apparently they'll see our oars before they actually see the kayak this is a gorgeous little spot you can't actually access this by walking you can only access it by boat or kayak Look at that teamwork. Wow, that was such a great time out. That on, was amazing. Yeah, the weather has just been on our side as you can see. The guys here, they give you a lot of information as well about the sounds, a lot of history. But yeah, a lot of history and a lot, lot of laughing. A lot of laughing, yeah. It was very fun, yep. very informative. Now, let's go to lunch. So now we've just stopped off for lunch at the Queen Charlotte Tavern, which is conveniently just down the road from Sea Kayak Adventures. And we're gonna have a meal and a drink and just chill out for a bit.
Oh, we've got to we could do the registry thing. Anywhere in New Zealand, this is how they've been doing the con uh, content trace. COVID tracing. They do these little QR codes. I'm sure other places all around the world have them as well. This is very cute. Another little dining room in here. Some very cool artwork all around the place. Man, it's so rustic and very cool. Look at these cool little fireplaces. I found the entrance way to the Hogwarts Express. Anyone who's a Harry Potter fan knows what that's all about. And look at this. They've even got like this little area under here where you can eat and a pool table. Oh my god, such a cool, oh the woodwork on these tables is amazing, I'm such a nerd for woodwork, like, look at these, such a cool area, they've even got a little fireplace over there, you can come out here in winter, leave a like and a comment below if you love rustic restaurants and taverns like this. We're having lunch outside at the Queen Charlotte Tavern and look what we have here, we've got an open steak sandwich that comes with a side of fries, yum. And the most amazing looking fish and chips, be better fish and chips. Mm. Not only that, but look at our backdrop. That's yeah. amazing. It's a pretty hard work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Thank so much. Thank you. Um, yeah. and Matt's got his open steak sandwich, jalapenos, and I don't know, like caramelized onions. And the steak has been cooked perfectly. Mm, I am a bit jealous. And now, <clears throat> we're up for a round of mini golf. Here at Sea Kayak Adventures, they've just got a newly built mini golf course. For oh, fail! That's one! You guys can leave a comment below. Who do you think would be the better mini golfer? Me? <laughs> or Natalie? Competitive as a couple. Natalie's mostly always beaten me at mini golf, any time of mini golf, pool, darts, you name it. She's just always beaten me, but today I'm feeling lucky. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, fail. I'm not competitive whatsoever, am I, Matt? Should we just call it 10, honey? Ah! Oh. Do you think my luck's changing? Do you? Four. Mikey thinks this is going to help. He actually did quite well on that shot. Two. Well, wonders will never cease. So I've just added it up. Matt got a total score of 79. I got a total score of 75. So I am the champion. As Boom. Wow, that was such a great time out. It was amazing. What an awesome way to spend a weekend or whatever day, a holiday, summer day, a day like this. Beautiful out in Anakiwa. Sea Kayak Adventures, 10 out of 10. Now, if you thought this video was tight, Leave us a like, this ain't no bribe, please subscribe. And hey, what the hell? Ding that bell. And we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye.